Hello. Today we will be showing how to measure knee flexion using a goniometer. Before we begin, we will first have to review the biomechanics of the knee joint. Knee flexion occurs in the sagittal plane around a medial lateral axis. The kinematics of knee flexion are different depending on whether the movement is open or closed chain, but for our purposes we will focus on open chain. During open chain knee flexion at the tibiofemoral joint, the articular surface of the tibia moves on the medial and lateral femoral condyles. Because of the relatively flat articular surface of the proximal tibia, the medial and lateral menisci are responsible for creating the concave surface on which the convex femoral condyles can articulate. This means that in open chain knee flexion, the tibia rolls and slides posteriorly. At the patellofemoral joint, the patella moves inferiorly along the intercondylar groove of the femur during flexion. Muscles that contribute to knee flexion are sartorius, gracilis, popliteus, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, biceps femoris, gastrocnemius, and plantaris, though the muscles listed here are considered the primary movers when testing active knee flexion. A therapist can use knee flexion as a way to gauge tightness in the knee extensors, the strength of the knee flexor muscles, or to determine the mobility of the joint. An injury to the knee, or injury to any of the knee extensor or flexor muscles, could warrant an examination of knee flexion. Contraindications for testing knee flexion would be pain with performing the movement, poor skin integrity around the knee, or a recent surgery that required patient precautions against knee flexion. Concerning the reliability of using a goniometer for measuring knee flexion, Research indicates that intratester reliability is greater than intertester reliability, though overall it is considered a reliable measurement for knee flexion. Now we can begin discussing how to measure knee flexion using a goniometer. Before we begin, it is useful to have an idea of what landmarks we will be using to position the goniometer. Although these landmarks will be described again, this information is presented here so that you may go back and reference it if need be. First determine if the patient is able to stand on one leg safely. If so, position the patient in a standing position with their hips against the table to prevent hip flexion and their hands on the table for support. Ask the patient to actively flex their knee by bringing their heel towards their glutes. Position yourself so that you are close to eye level with the knee joint. Have the patient perform active knee flexion so that you can get a sense of their active range. Instruct the patient to avoid excessive lumbar lordosis or anterior pelvic tilt. Once you are ready to measure, position the fulcrum of the goniometer over the lateral epicondyle of the femur. The stationary arm is in line with the greater trochanter, and the movable arm is in line with the lateral midline of the fibula. To measure passive range of motion, have the patient in supine. Begin by placing a towel under the patient's ankle to ensure that they can get to full knee extension. Once this is done, you can remove the towel and begin measuring passive range. You may palpate the anterior superior iliac spine and the posterior superior iliac spine of the pelvis to ensure that there are no compensatory movements that would affect measurement. Once again, the anatomical landmarks used for positioning the goniometer will be the same as those used for active knee flexion. The normal range of motion at the knee joint is 0 to 150 degrees. Functional range of motion would be about 0 to 120 degrees. End feel should feel soft as the posterior leg meets the posterior thigh. A firm end feel generally indicates tightness in the quadriceps. However, a firm end feel at significantly smaller degrees could be indicative of pathology. Having gone over the method for measuring knee flexion, we will now show a full patient interaction for taking the measurements. Hello, I'm Jessica Fellow, and I'm going to be your physical therapist today. Alright, so what we're going to do today is look at um, how well you're able to move your 
me. So what I want you to do is come up to the edge of this table. You're going to put your legs against the edge of the table and um, use your hands to support yourself. And then when you feel comfortable, I just want you to slide your right shoe off for me. Can you um, go ahead and bring your foot towards your bottom for me? All right, is there any pain when you do that? No? Okay, you can relax. Now I'm going to ask you to bring your foot up just like that again, and when I tell you to stop, that's where I want you to hold it for me if you can, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and lift it. Okay, go ahead and stop. All right, and I'm just going to take a measurement. Okay, go ahead and relax. And you are able to get 128 degrees. Okay, so now we're going to test uh, the range of motion of your knee while you are laying down. So if you want to go ahead and lay all the way back on your back. I'm just going to put this towel under your foot to make sure you're able to straighten your leg as much as possible. Do you have any pain in that position? Okay, you go ahead and take this out. And if you can just try and bring your heel towards your bottom. Any pain when you do that? Okay, go ahead and relax. Come up and straighten your leg. All right, I'm going to have you do that one more time. I'm just going to make sure that you don't move your hips. Go ahead. All right, and I'm just going to push to see if you can go any further. Is that okay? Anything? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and take a measurement really quick. And that concludes goniometry for knee flexion. Thanks for watching.